हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज उदय पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एम ई पी टेक्निकल वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वील लर्न अबाउट बेसिकली व्हाट इज डी टी आर स्ट्रक्चर और डबल पोल स्ट्रक्चर एलेवेन के वी फॉर दी बिल्डिंग ओके बेसिकली हाउ वी टैप अप दी पावर सप्लाई पॉइंट फ्रॉम दी फीडर लाइन सो हेयर वी हैव अ डबल पोल स्ट्रक्चर एज वेल एज सिंगल पोल स्ट्रक्चर so here we will discuss about dtr D dtr means distribution transformer so what are the equipments will come on this pole on the system so we'll discuss it so before we start the session i would like to request you if you are not a subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so here we have a 11 kv double pole structure so why we call it double pole structure because here we have a double pole this is also called pole mounted service station distribution service station and it is also called dtr structure dtr means distribution transformer structure so why this is required for any commercial building like uh, as for the standards if the loads are greater than 100 kv then you have to keep your own private transformer inside your premises this depends upon the country to country okay at that condition to tap up the power from the feeder or you can say any city line in that condition we need this type of structure so where we have a this pole and even we can use for these equipments without transformer single pole structure as well if we do not have a enough space to put the another pole we can also install the single pole as well to keep this equipment without transformer so here i am not discussing about transformer so what are the equipment generally used in this structure so first is cross arm so here we have a cross arm and there is a insulator above it for three phase three nose okay then we have a la lightning arrester to protect the pro to protect from the lightning and then we have a this one gob gob means gang operated air brake switch so this is like a isolator during the maintenance we can open and after it we can close it like a switch okay with the help of handle here we have a handle to operate this gang operated air brake switch after that we can have a ctpt metering units to measure the how much energy we consumed for that we have to use ctpt ct means current transformer and pt means potential transformer to measure the power okay then after that we have to use do fuse drop out do fuse okay then come to transformer at st side which is 11 sir 11 kb okay so generally what these all equipments are used to protect this transformer as you know that transformer is too expensive that's that's why we have to use this equipment to protect the transformer so let's discuss one by one so first let's discuss sld sld means single line diagram so before we start the installation we have to know about the sld we have to discuss about the sld according to sld we have to make this structure and install this equipments so here we have a sld single line diagram of this 11 kb dtr structure double pole even structure so here we have a nea 11 kb line so this one is actually 
सिटी लाइन ओके एलेवेन के भी फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव टू टैप ऑफ ओके एंड फर्स्ट व्हाट कम्स दिस इज दी लाइटनिंग एरेस्टर नाइन के भी टेन के लाइटनिंग एरेस्टर दिस मच इज कैपेसिटी विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन डिटेल हाउ टू सेलेक्ट दिस एज पर द लोड देन दिस वन इज एस सी एस सी आर कंडक्टर ओके इवन वी कैन यूज द केबल एज वेल देन वी हैव अ गैंग ऑपरेटर स्विच ओके देन दिस नॉट दिस इज नॉट नेसेसरी एट दिस मोमेंट ऑलरेडी वी हैव यूज ओवर हेयर देन कम टू डी ओ फ्यूज हेयर वी हैव अ डी ओ देन वी हैव अ सी टी पी टी मीटरिंग यूनिट मीन्स टू कनेक्ट इट टू एनर्जी मीटर ओके देन अब देन फ्रॉम द डी ओ फ्यूज यू हैव टू टेक द एक्स एल पी इंसुलेटेड एलेवेन के बी अंडरग्राउंड केबल so this will connect to the our distribution transformer which will step down 11 kb to 440 or 415 as per the standard as per the country standard so here let's discuss another sld same similarly over here na line which is feeded actually from there we have tap of it This is a 11 kb PUS. We can say point of supply, and uh, from here we have a this one LA lightning arrestor which is connected in parallel and one into the earthing. Then another is this is the CT PT. This is the PT potential transformer, and this is the CT for each phase. Okay, and this is for also each phase. There are three phases. Okay. and this is the energy meter and here we have a dio fuse and then cable and this is connected it to st side primary side of the transformer now let's see it's one by one what are the accessories required to build this structure so as for the sld we need pole so here we are discussing about double pole or even we can install these equipments on single pole as well if we have a space issue so this is the double pole so we have to dig out and base, make the found foundation for this pole with the concreting to make it a strength so this is the double pole structure then this is the gang operated air brake switch so here we can with the help of handle actually it will disconnect or make like a switch it, it can make or break the circuit so this will help us during the maintenance so here we have a 11 kb circuit and this this is this one is the as per sld actually equipments and this is for three phase so three nodes will be required as per this this is the mounting base so here for like a r y and p so there are three phases so we have to use three phases for this gang operated switch and we have a handle so with the handle we can operate this switch during the maintenance now lightning arrestor so this is the lightning arrestor actually and this is also used for three phases so here this one is is quality this is this is the lightning arrestor in actually you can see this is the actually single pole structure okay so where is this? the la you can see this one is the la for three phase this one is la so here this is the main incomer 11 kb where it is connected in parallel and bottom of it which is this one all three are connected to each other and get it to earth so in case of lightning flash over voltage lightning voltage it will grounded immediately okay through this la so this will protect this ctpt as well and then transformer as well 
so this is the la part lightning arrester now here we have a ctpt metering units so this is used for generally for energy meter connection as you know that in higher voltage we cannot direct connect the meter we have to use the ctpt ct for current measuring and pt for voltage measuring so this will get reduced in ratio so in next video we will discuss about its sizing as well but here i am giving just introduction so here this is the part of the ctpt metering unit so this part is actually ctpt and it is also mounted on this pole like this so this part is ctpt current transformer and potential transformer so after the LA you can use this one then drop drop out fuse so this is the drop out fuse in case of overload or any fault this will be blown out and it will disconnect the circuit to protect the transformer even this can use for isolate the 11 kv line to perform the maintenance on transformer or st uh, bcv side vacuum circuit breaker so this one is actually three nose for three phase so this is the actually do fuse over here you can see r y and b so this is the actually do fuse and after that it is it will directly connect to transformer if we have a low budget then if you don't again we have to use rmu ring main unit where we have a vcb or directly connected to the st panel which is vcb vacuum circuit breaker so to protect this transformer from the over voltage short circuit current and leakage it can it, it condition of these three this will protect this transformer that's why better to not directly connect connect the uh, line to this st side so we have to use vcb vacuum circuit breaker before this transformer to protect this transformer then finally tod meter this is uh, in bottom of the pole and all the wires are ctpt are connected over here from the that's it so this will show the how much we energy consumed so this will show according to that feeder lines company like distribution company will charge us then earthing what are the earthing required in this system so la i have already told you la has to be earth then ctpt metering unit has to be earth and then gang operated air brake switches to be earth so here so this all so this is the la actually this three la will get like this and one earth thing for this then another earth thing for this ctpt metering unit and then other one is gang operated switch so generally three earth things are required for this system and we can make even loop like keep maintaining the distance almost 3 meter to each other and then this will connect it like this okay so hope you guys understand about what are the components used in 11 kb pole structure for the transformer so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video